Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila, and this is Moet Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Let's be refreshed today with the Word of God, coming from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 9 through 16. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible, and it says, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey me, you remain in my love, just as I obey my Father and remain in his love. I have told you this so that you may be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. I command you to love each other in the same way that I love you. And here is how to measure it. The greatest love is shown when people lay down their lives for their friends. You are my friends if you obey me. I no longer call you servants because a master can't or doesn't confide in his servants. Now you are my friends. Since I have told you everything that the father told me, You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. Praise the Lord. The note says when things are going well, we feel elated. When hardships come, we sink in depression. But true joy transcends the rolling waves of circumstance. Joy comes from a consistent relationship with Jesus Christ. When our lives are intertwined with his, he will help us walk through adversity without sinking into debilitating lows and manage prosperity without moving into deceptive highs. The joy of living with Christ daily will keep us level-headed no matter how high or low our circumstances. We are to love each other as Jesus loved us. And he loved us enough to give his life for us. We may not have to die for someone, but there are other ways to practice sacrificial love. Listening, helping, encouraging, giving. Think of someone in particular who needs this kind of love today. Give all the love you can and then try to give a little more. Because Jesus Christ is Lord and Master, he should call us servants. Instead, he calls us friends. How comforting and reassuring to be chosen as Christ's friends. Because he is Lord and Master, we owe him our unqualified obedience. But most of all, Jesus asks us to obey him because we love him. Jesus made the first choice to love and to die for us. To invite us to live with him forever, we make the next choice to accept or reject his offer. Without his choice, we would have no choice to make. So I'm reminding you today that we are friends of Christ. We are no longer servants, but friends. And the scripture goes on to tell us that we're not only friends, but we are brothers. We are heirs and joint heirs. Seated in heavenly places. And I remind you today that we must love as Christ loved. He said that a master can't confide in his servants, but he can confide in friends. So let's live our lives so that God can confide in us, that God can trust us, that he can feel uh, okay, that he'll feel assured that I can share this with my friend. I can share this with Mary. I can share this with, with uh, Lucille. I can share this with Nancy. I can share this with Mike. I can share this with Gracie. Because I can trust her. I can confide in, in him. 
I can trust in Eddie. I can trust in Tiffany. I can trust in Sharon and Col I, I can trust in Colette. Oh, don't worry. I can trust in Julie. I can trust in Judy. I, I can trust in Gloria because I know her life. I know her heart because she loves me, because he loves me. I can trust Ralph. I can trust Paris and Justice. I, I can tr trust Jesse. I, I can trust Latanya. I can trust the kill. I, I, I can trust Regina because I know their heart and their heart is for me. Their heart is pure and clean. So I provoke you. I provoke you to live a life before God as your worship unto him so much so that he can trust you I'm reminded of of Job and how God said to Satan oh you can try him you can put him to the test because he knew that he could trust him and the scripture tells us that in everything that he went through that he trusted in the Lord and he did not turn back. He did not curse God. Even when his wife said, oh, curse God and die, he did not. He was faithful. And when you are faithful, beloveds, oh my God, look what happened to Job. He had double for his trouble. So no matter what you're going through, just remember God is your friend. He calls you friend. Jesus calls you friend. And you can trust in him, but can he trust you? Can he trust you? Let's live a life, beloved. Where Jesus and our Father can trust us. Let's pray. Daddy, we come before you thanking you and praising you, giving you glory. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for no longer calling us servants, but calling us friends. Such a privilege it is to be called your friend. Your friendship is valuable to us. It's better than being friends with the president. It's better than being friends with the heads of state. It's better than knowing any diplomat in the world. You are supreme. You are sovereign. And you call us friend. We are humbled, Lord. Father, we ask that you would help us that our lives would be clean before you. We offer ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you which is our reasonable service. It's what we have, our lives. And God, thank you that you made the first choice to love us and to die for us. So Father, we take the second choice and we say, yes, we will love you. Yes, we will love people and we will live for you. We thank you and we give you glory in that mighty matchless name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, this has been Moet Shalraga, the appointed time of refreshing. Continue to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.